Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to Fatherland Mod for Darkest Hour. So, I will be leaving the uh, link to the mod in the description down below. But the Fatherland mod is really interesting. I'd kind of like to say it is almost like Kaiserreich in terms of, um, well, diversity. Now, the idea is basically, Germany has won the Second World War, but not completely. Basically, Operation Barbarossa was a complete success, the Allies are thrown out of Italy, and two years later in 1945, an uneasy peace is reached between uh, the Axis and the Allies. However, Japan is utterly annihilated under nuclear hellfire, and made into a puppet of the United States of America. The Soviet Union, however, is not doing well. Um, so we're going to take a look over here at Germany just for the start up. This isn't going to be a series as of yet. I'd kind of like to have a uh, vote on who to play. Because I should really always play Germany. I'm going to start getting accused of different things. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the German situation in 1948. And just the world in 1948. Okay, yep, I'm immediately now banned in Germany. <laughs> Right then, so we have the Axis in 1948. We have an uneasy peace with the French. Well, this is basically Vichy France, so I'll explain about that in a moment. Uh, we have the Balkans, we have Italy. Uh, Greece has fallen to the Axis. But then we have our area over here of uh, what was Moscow, but will soon be Lebensraum. We have the Reich Commissarts, I think that's how you said. The Protectorates of the Reich. Basically our puppets over here, the Ukraine. Uh, I uh, German control Poland, Belarusia, well, Belarusia, and Ostland. Finland is surprisingly not in the axis. I find that a little one, uh, that a little confusing very well. We have Norway, Denmark, the Reich, basically German Netherlands, German Flanders, and a tiny, tiny, really difficult to get on here, a tiny Belgium basically, and Wallonia. So we have Vichy France over here. Now Vichy France is led by Pierre Laval and Philippe Petain. The situation is rather interesting. The British are undefeated. Surprised that we don't have um, Churchill in power this time. But yes, the world is a different place. India has been lost to the British Empire, basically due to rebellion. The uh, civil war in China is not far from kicking off. It is, if it's not already kicked off. It is in different areas, though. Rather interesting. We have the Republic of Korea. Japan, puppet of the USA, as we can see here. Uh, but then we also have the Far Eastern Republic. The Siberian Democratic Republic as well. Independent from Russia, Leninist. Well, over here, another Leninist. We also have the Empire of Russia. Uh, basically, if I read correctly, there was a coup, an attempted coup by the um, white forces, basically the Russian white forces, that try to once again establish Russia as old Russia, bring back the empire. However, they were defeated and now they're confined to the small place over here in Eurasia. The Soviet Union at this stage is led by Kalanin. Now this probably would change with events in the game as we have not started, but this is January 1st, 1948. The Cossack Federation, uh, the Caucasus under here, control of Nazi Germany. But yes, quite a lot of interesting things. Uh, Belgium over here has moved over to uh, Leopoldville. Basically, they have become the Congo. But it's a very interesting scenario. There's a hell of a lot of events here. We also have the Free Dutch down here. Indonesia has broke free, basically there was, or um, well, you can imagine, a uh, violent progress of uh, decolonization. It's a very interesting mod playing in 1948 due to the, all the units that we have. Like, this is late game stuff. The technology tree I'd imagine is the Cold War 1. Um, no, 1962. I'd imagine I could probably mod in the Cold War technology tree, but I don't know if it would work correctly. But yes, we have quite a few interesting little nations. Uh, there's lots of different events. Basically, there's an event, or a series of events, where Italy can steal the nations of the Balkans. And there is a possibility of a Italian and Romanian alliance. Basically, the Latin axis 
which would be rather an interesting to play. Vichy France over here. There's quite a lot of things that could happen with them. I tried them out early and I just went for the worst options. And basically, um, you end up with massive descent. And it comes up with events saying basically, hey, everything's going to shit. You can have the Germans help you or you can do it yourself. If you choose the Germans to help you, you get returned to pre, well, to the war border. So you lose all of Northern France, you become Vichy. But then you get lots of events with the French French coming over, basically trying to make peace. So I would imagine there's possibilities of becoming one with Free France again, which is really interesting. We have Francisco over here, Franco. Indeed. It's a very interesting world, and I just don't know who to play. I'd love to start another series, but honestly I need to finish the ones I already have, otherwise we're never going to get there. But there's a lot of interesting mechanics here. We even have the SS over here, they have their own little nation in Crimea. But anyway guys, I thought I would just give you a little show of what the mod looks like. And um, yes, in the future I will have a vote so we can decide who to play. And also, I'm going to put the link into my Steam group. I would love if more people were to join. It's nice, I'd like to talk to people. I'm not a fire-breathing dragon, I am very approachable. At least I would like to think so. And until next time, guys, have a fantastic night, wherever you are, and whatever you're doing. At the moment, it's about 10 to 12 here, so I think I might call it a night. So, goodbye for now, and until next time.